You know, sometimes a piece of gear, like a camera, or in this case an anamorphic lens, just inspires you, like no other piece of gear did before. It makes you want to create something, even if it's just playing around with knives in the kitchen. And that's exactly what this lens does, the Surrey Saturn 35mm 1.6 squeeze anamorphic lens. It makes me want to make videos, little movies. And it's because this lens is not like any other anamorphic lens I've used before. With this lens, Surrey actually solves one of the biggest issues I had with anamorphic lenses. Well, two actually, but I'll tell you the other one later in the video. The first one is size and weight, because even though I love the anamorphic look, the size and weight of these lenses always made shooting with one feel like I don't know, a hassle, because it doesn't go with my style of filmmaking. I want a small setup, something portable, and I don't want to have to go to the gym every time I want to use an anamorphic lens, you know? And this Surrey 35mm is just slightly bigger and heavier than one of my favorite spherical lenses, also a 35mm by the way. So yeah, it even inspired me to make that little short film that you saw at the beginning of this video. And I made it because I just wanted to make something with this lens. It inspired me. I wanted to practice my filmmaking. And you know, with this lens, it didn't feel like practicing. It, it was fun. I feel like the beauty and the aesthetics were already there when it comes to these cheaper anamorphic lenses. But now Surrey also made them fun and easy to use. Except for one thing, but later in the video. It costs around 1300 bucks, so it's not the cheapest one out there, but I definitely think it's a fair price for such a great looking lens. That's also fun to use on top of that. It has everything I want. It's sharp, beautiful bokeh, that typical smooth transition from in-focus to out-of-focus objects. It's difficult to describe the anamorphic look. I always want to use the word organic, but I know that some of you cringe when you hear that word. So yeah, I don't know. It just has that painterly je ne sais quoi. I'm gonna stop trying to describe it because it's impossible. You know, even this, a boring scene of a water tap dripping looks so beautiful. The bokeh, the background, you just can't get that with a normal spherical lens. And I've noticed in the comments on other videos I made about anamorphic lenses that some of you see it and some of you don't. But that's okay, that's fine. If you don't like the look or if you don't see the difference, don't buy an anamorphic lens. And don't worry about it, definitely don't worry about it. The 1.6 squeeze on full frame is actually wider than what you see here. I cropped my video to 2.39 to 1 cinemascope aspect ratio because I like it. I like that it's a high squeeze factor, 1.6, because that makes everything look more anamorphic. The typical oval bokeh looks more oval this way, no? So basically what you get is horizontally it's the same as a spherical 35mm, but vert- no, wait. Vertically it's the same as a spherical 35mm and horizontally it's a lot wider. Now on purpose I haven't mentioned the flares yet, because that's what people always focus on when they hear the word anamorphic. Blue flares, sci-fi, JJ Abrams, you know? But I'm so glad that Surrey also has a neutral flare version of this lens. So warm white flares instead of blue and it looks so good. I love the blue flares and they have a blue version too. but. You just can't use them for everything. And the white flares always look good. And more importantly, not distracting. It looks amazing, it really does.
Now, one important thing you should know so you don't get disappointed when you buy one of these anamorphic lenses. The link is in the description, by the way. Um, so that short film at the beginning of the video, you can't shoot something like that without using diopters because the minimum focusing distance of this lens is 0.9 meters. And I don't know if all anamorphic lenses have such a long minimum focusing distance. Uh, maybe the super expensive ones don't have it, I don't know. But the cheaper ones all have it and it's a bit annoying. But anyway, so to fix it, you can buy diopters or focus filters. And what they do is they bring the infinity focus closer, something like that. It's too technical for me to try to explain. But um, yeah, I have this super cheap set here, 30 bucks, I think it was, 30, 35. I have a one times close up, two times, four times and 10 times. But the problem is that if you use one of these diopters, it brings the infinity focus closer and you can focus on objects close by, but you can't focus anymore to the original infinity focus. So you can only focus on objects close by. And if you wanna focus again on an object that's three meters away or 10 or 20, you have to take it off again. So it's a little bit annoying, but okay. Also the fact that I have a mist filter and a VND on my lens and that the diopter is on the bottom makes it even more of a pain in the ass because then you always have to take everything off and back on and blah. So if they could fix that last little issue, not having to use diopters, wow, then... But this lens, the Surrey Saturn 35mm 1.6 squeeze, Highly recommend it. It's so fun to use. It will inspire you if you like anamorphic lenses, of course. Um, yeah, so I just wanna go make a little movie again. Maybe me going to the toilet or something. Who knows? See you in the next one. <laughs>